Hey everyone, I am Rob, and welcome back to another collaboration between the Knights of Horror and On The Fence Movie Review to bring to you another episode of Slashback Friday. On this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm going to review a movie that came out in 2007. Now, it actually didn't get a theatrical release. Um, it was released straight to, you know, a DVD or a Blu-ray. And uh, it was written and directed by Michael Daughtry and has one of the most, if not the most, legendary, iconic Halloween uh, characters ever invented. And that is... Sam. Now, if you know that name, then you know what movie this is we're going to review, and it is Trick or Treat. Now, Trick or Treat is a type of anthology film where it follows five different stories. Um, when I first saw this movie and I seen what it was, I felt, I guess I would say I felt kind of hesitant because anthology films usually don't give you enough time uh, you know, they're, they're kind of short. They don't give you enough time to invest into characters. And so that's kind of the mindset I had when I started to watch this movie. But uh, surprisingly and happily, I was wrong because the way they invest into all five stories and just all the characters in the movie, you don't feel like they're your, your missing pieces or your, your, you're kind of left out of certain things. They give you, they give you a, a full story for all the characters for each story you don't feel like anything's kind of left out and that i really did enjoy i know i don't want to get into too many spoilers or too many details and ruin it for you if you haven't seen the movie um you know after this review if you decide you want to check it out you know i don't want to spoil that for you but i'll just give you some quick you know details and, and that'll be it um like i said it's an anthology movie but a little bit different it's not five I believe it's five different stories but it's not five separate stories these all five stories take place on Halloween night and they all kind of intertwine with each other and eventually you, you when you pay attention to the movie you see certain characters run into certain characters even if for a brief second but they do all kind of they're all kind of the whole story is interwoven uh, amidst all the characters so uh, in that, I'm going to kind of leave it right there because I don't want to spoil too much for you. But I will say this. Some of the stuff I liked was you feel like the 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 director of this movie, the writer of this movie, has a passion. Had a passion when he created this movie and has a passion for these stories. And, and you feel it uh, come off the screen. And, you know, there's, there's really... When you're watching a movie and you can feel that the person who created this movie took the time and didn't, you know, oh, well, let me let me just take the easy way out here or, you know, this is what people normally do. You can tell that they they took, you know, they kind of, you know, took different steps or tried different things and it worked. And, you know, that's pretty much what I can say for for that is that I did enjoy the decisions that were made in this movie as far as different characters how how they acted again I'm, I'm being very vague because i don't want to spoil it for you um i will say the lore in this movie i really did enjoy i when i watch a scary movie or any kind of scary movie or any kind of story period um i love lore like if you can give me a backstory that makes sense or why something's happening that makes sense and that goes with what's going on i'm more invested into the movie into characters and that's just you're 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 hooking me in right there. You know you got your hooks in me, and you're pulling me into what you've created. Um, also with Sam, uh, I like I don't want to give too much. Like I said, I don't want to give too many details with Sam. But Sam's kind of uh, throughout the whole movie, he's there, and just just the way they put him in certain spots, I felt it worked perfect. Um, you know. I, I was thinking about how to explain this and I came up with two things in my head and I don't know if it makes sense or not, but for me it does. I feel like this movie is a cross between Goosebumps and like Tales from the Crypt Keeper. And now if you've seen either one, you, you know, you kind of know, like you have that, you have that funny, it, this movie's almost playful at times with you. Um, it's funny, 
certain characters are funny, certain things that happen at times are gory, but at the same time, humorous, if that makes sense. Um, and if you've ever seen Tales from the Crypt, uh, you have that comedy with that gore and that gruesomeness. And I feel like they did a great job meshing them together. Now, in no way am I saying, I, I know Goosebumps is more kind of like little, not little kid, but just younger person kind of friendly. In no way am I saying uh, this is, you know, show this to your five-year-old or any anything like that. But, you know, I feel like for me watching both, I feel like they did a great job of, of kind of bringing the silliness and the humor and the the fun of this movie along with the gore and the gruesome and the scary and they mixed them together and i think they did a great job with doing that now honestly like i don't when i think of like a perfect halloween film there's no other movie i can think of besides trick or treat that I would say is a perfect Halloween film that kind of captures the whole day, like in, in you know, there's just everything about it. You know, the the parades, the costumes, the Halloween, the lore, the stories people tell, everything just kind of rolled up in there, and it's this movie. And in saying all that, I mean, I feel like you probably already know what I'm going. I'm gonna definitely say get off the fence and check out Trick or Treat if you have not seen it because. If you enjoy Halloween movies, if you enjoy scary movies, if you enjoy silly, scary movies, I would say this is a, the perfect movie. Um, you know, it, it, when I say silly, it, it's not it's not in like a a negative way or like, oh, well, it's kind of little. It, it does a great Like I said, it does a great job of mixing the funny, silly just interestingness and with the scary and the horror vibe and you know i mean to say right there it's just i think it's the perfect halloween movie to watch do i have other favorite movies that i would probably watch yes but i'm gonna say this trick or treat is the perfect halloween movie to watch now in saying all that if you've seen Trick or Treat, you know, write write down in the comments. You know, let me know what you've thought of it. Um, you know, I really love to hear your opinions about it. Uh, if you have other movies that you think are better than this movie or similar, are are just in your opinion are your favorite, you know, scary movies, uh, leave them in the comments. Let me know. I, like I said, I love to love to hear other people's opinions about you know you know these topics and and you know I just love having a conversation. Um, and in saying all that, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Slashback Friday, this collaboration between On the Fence Movie Reviews and The Nights of Horror. Uh, I'm enjoying doing these videos. It's Honestly, it's really tough to decide which movies um, because there's so many movies that I watch around this time and so many movies that are coming on the TV and I'm just like, oh, wait, what about this movie? What about that movie? But this is awesome to do. I hope you're enjoying it because I'm really enjoying, you know, kind of going through these movies that I've watched as well. And um, anyways, uh, please like, please subscribe. Check us out on either On The Fence Movie Reviews. We have an Instagram, our YouTube page, or The Knights of Horror. Check out their Instagram and their YouTube page. Uh, we truly do appreciate all the support you've given to both channels. And in saying all that, remember, always check your candy. Okay, I think I like the second one more. So if you want to use the second one, but whatever you guys want to do, you're in charge. I mean, you're not in charge, but you, you know, you're it's more talented than I am. So I'm just, uh, I feel like I'm the muscle. Anyways, here we go. Maybe I'm not the muscle. Maybe I'm the funny.
I could be funny sometimes. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay, here we go.